where each play of a vinyl record leads to gradual degradation may or may not be a myth as when as where when a record is cared for correctly removing all films etc then handled correctly and played back in a properly calibrated turntable ensemble that is also level cartridge aligned and meeting proper with adjustments with always a needle that has been cared for and cleaned prior to every play and where the record also sees a 10 micron peristatic felt brush used before every play to remove particles within the groove, a vinyl record should last for hundreds, if not thousands, of plays. In my test, I have not seen or measured any change yet as described above. The materials used for the record need also to be studied. Charles continues, Never played vinyl. Measured here, 0 0.9 microns of removed release agent on a new record, 1.3 microns on a vintage record pressed in 1974 by RCA, and have moved more and have more removed from a Deutsch gramophone pressing 1964, where we had film on the record from both the outgassing PVC of the record and PVC of the sleeve they used herringbone discoloration and uh, on the Deutsch gramophone record was removed. So before examining record grooves below the contaminant layers, I refer to the removal first of the needle um, and its care. No, no one has measured any groove affectation as the needle touches the record in one spot momentarily while the needle is making longer contact throughout the entire record for a very long distance. I have measured an increase in temperature of the contact point in colored records, all um, over all black, with the equipment that I have here. Um, and by the way, I understand there's a new Taylor Swift album that has um, gold-colored vinyl and gold glitter in it, probably a very noisy and uh, risky al album to play. I would suggest uh, not playing that, maybe uh, just uh, as a memento. <laughs> um, okay, so so my thoughts on, on all of this at, at this point, 